that match the Troy and you reinvent the truth with your crosswords and your coffee. Only you can solve me in that way. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live with the third uh, quarterfinal game. We have number four, Marshall, number five, Western Michigan. Joining me in the booth is the man himself. I think we, you know, we are technically the only two coaches to notch a win in the RFCL playoffs right now, Blake. I know. Crazy. Something to think about, but we're going to go ahead and hop in with Coach Zeke and Coach Sneak and Versa as they prepare for Western Michigan. All right, Marshall, you got a big, big opportunity here to be the third team ever to win an RFCL playoff game. How are the vibes? Uh, vibes are high right now, honestly. Um, you know, obviously coming off of a uh, disappointing loss to end this season for us, uh, the regular season anyway. Um, but even then, like, I wasn't too disappointed that played well, defense played well. Uh, then we just, all we got to do is carry that over into this game and uh, make, make some different choices. But um, other than that, uh, you know, just keep doing what we're doing, give Armstrong the ball and, you know, run the ball down the throat. Coach Zeke, you did have that disappointing loss to end the season last season or last week, but – you're ready to bounce back today against Western Michigan. What's the game plan going in to stop Parker Howe? Um, basically do what we did against him week one, put some pressure on him. We proved that if he's under pressure, he's not going to be able to do anything. So we're just going to stick with the pressure. All right, Coach Versa, what's the game plan for the night? Um, yeah, I think uh, you'll see a lot of Armstrong. Um, hopefully uh, trying to get uh, – you know, uh, Einberg heated it up quickly and get him going. But um, you know, we got some got some new formations, new new, new plays under uh, in the playbook that we're going to be trying out and, and utilizing some things I thought would work with how our offense has been all season. So, yeah, I'm excited. Got you, Blake. Anything for these guys? I think you covered everything going into the game. All right. Well, best of luck, and we'll talk to you all in just a moment. All right, Coach Pete, head coach Hello. Coach Pete for the night, Lone Star Interim Western Michigan Defensive Coordinator. What are the vibes like for the Western Michigan team? Uh, I mean, we're we're gonna go out there, we're gonna have fun, and we're gonna win while having fun. That's that's what's that's what's gonna happen. Uh, Nismo, I, I love him, but we're gonna take some chances, we're gonna take some risk, and uh, expect a expect a pretty good game. All right, Blake, any questions? Pete, I just wanted to say um, good luck tonight. Um, you know, you, do you have any kind of game plan going into this game? I know you have not had much time, you know, coming in late in the season, but is there anything you're looking to do tonight? Uh, I mean, oh, my here. bad. Here. Uh, I think so. it's need to play aggressive. To, I know Marshall, they, they have a really, really strong running game. Uh, we just need to need to stay aggressive on defense, you know, make smart plays. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think uh, – we can really take advantage of their uh, their four two five on on defense. I mean, we did it against App State. I think we can do it again pretty successfully. Uh, yeah, well, I, we're we're ready for a great game. I know I know they're gonna be ready. But we're just going gonna go out here and ball. Well, thank you, you too, Gage. I think it's time to get this game started. Absolutely. Best of luck, guys, and we will see y'all at halftime. Thank you. All right, Blake. I think we have a uh, special guest joining us in the booth. The uh, I think we do from the locker room in uh, Kalamazoo. Coach Gerald, how's it going, man? Uh, you know, pretty good. Uh, just yeah, watching game one, 
Waiting for game two. So is, is uh, your offensive coordinator going to be able to make it tonight? Uh, he's back on Discord, so I think that's a good sign. That is a good um, sign. The question is whether I will be there. Uh, we don't, we don't, we'll figure it out. It's uh, kind of a play it by looking at the radar type of thing. Gotcha. So it sounds so, to me, Blake, like if Gerald and Wide can't play that. It's Lionel. It's Lionel. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh. Well, yeah. I, was, I don't think we're going to miss, like, it, it might be a thing where, like, if we do, it'll be, like, missing a couple minutes. I just don't think we're going to miss the whole game unless it's... You know, you know, I was kind of wincing at that statement, but, you know, Core hasn't done anything bad or good That's this true. year. So, you know, that you kind of just be going into it with an open mind. Technically, he did pitch a shutout. So. That is true. That is very true. You know, you would think these guys would have these rosters set. I mean, we're already yeah, you like would. nine weeks you in. At this point, you would think that. But hey, going back though, I just want to comment really quickly. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and like this video. If you go back to our videos from the other day, guys, um, the Coastal Carolina game has 105 views. The South Alabama game has 138 views. I would say it's pretty good for about 48 hours. Absolutely. All right, and it looks like these teams are finally ready to get this underway. Western Michigan going to kick off to Marshall. I really think Marshall is going to have a game plan of just pound the rock and don't let Western Michigan touch it. Um, I, w I wouldn't be surprised to see Ronford throw it up less than 20 times in this game. Uh, Western Michigan is three and a half point dogs. Who? What are you all taking in the spread? Uh, and who do you have winning? Hey, uh, you know, I've gone with the underdog pick uh, both times, and uh, I still feel like both of them really won. I know App State missed the field goal to lose. I'm going to stick with it. I'm Western Michigan's got nothing to lose. It's a new coaching staff. Their head coach is even here. They're just playing to have fun tonight. So I, I truly think. They're going to pull it off. Marshall had a tough ending to the regular season. So, yeah, I think Western Michigan will do it. Yeah, you know, in our first ever episode of the Coach's Corner, I made the pick of Western Michigan over Marshall, and I was regretting it. But here's the thing. For Marshall, if Armstrong gets to going, um, you know, I think Marshall will just carry this one out in a low-scoring game. But if, if Parker Howell does warm up, we can see Western Michigan absolutely take off. So I'm still going Western Michigan with Parker Howell getting warmed up. Solid prediction. And something to note about Marshall, guys, is, you know, we completed early signing day last week. Signing day is Monday. If you guys remember, as Marshall picks up a first down, last year Marshall was able to sign five-star wide receiver Vlad Torskowitzki, and he did serve his one-season suspension, so he will be back next year for this Marshall Thundering Herd. That's five-star wide receiver. He's going to be a fresh 83 overall for the guys and gets a full, uh, you know, a full season under his belt now. Yeah, you know, Marshall didn't have that great of a class, doesn't have that great of a class right now, but they do have Vlad to look forward to going into the next season. Um, to be able to pair him with Barry, you know, that's a pretty scary thought. Absolutely. Now second eight for Marshall Reinfeldt going to drop back pass throws short to the sideline and Daniel Hovey is going to pick up five yards the third and three very manageable situation now. You know if we start seeing Marshall uh, use a little bit of a passing game is is successful with it, <laughs> Marshall is going to score a lot of points. Yeah, Marshall's averaging sixteen points per game. The only problem for them, the spot being four and three. They're giving up 17. Armstrong, 627 yards on the ground. Ronfer is 81 for 148, five touchdowns, six interceptions. And then Hovey, the man that just caught that last ball, has 15 receptions for 147 yards. They're going to go to Armstrong on third and short. He's going to lose three. Now it's going to be a big fourth down coming up from Marshall about midfield. Uh, you know, solid drive for the new, uh, well, I would say new, interim defense coordinator, um, Lone Star. I'm not sure if they're going to let him stay. 
just kind of depends on tonight. You know, if they win and move on, it's going to be hard not to retain him in, uh, for season two. But, uh, yeah, West Michigan, I guess, the ball. And one thing I have liked about this Marshall team that um, I could potentially miss are these helmets. I'm not going to lie. Is that something we need to announce on Monday is all the uh, expansion teams? I think we said after uh... – after the season, the next not after the next signing day, so there was no recruiting advantage. Okay, got you, got you. So Hal is going to lead the Broncos onto the field. He's going to keep it on the read option. He's going to pick up eleven, yeah, eleven on the keeper and a first down for WMU. Why does that keep coming on? You know, when we under the new helm of Nismo and Pete, you know, we saw a very explosive offense since they've taken over. Um, it, they've definitely been fun to watch. If they can continue to be that way, man, that'll be somebody to watch out for too in the playoffs. I mean, yeah, I mean, Gage, you know, I know he's commentating. He's also watching these two teams because uh, you know they play the winner. It's, that would have been a first down. <laughs> um, yeah. We've seen that a lot lately, uh, especially in the playoffs. Drop passes over the middle really cost the team. You know, cost App State, almost cost Coastal Carolina a couple times. Um, South Alabama dropped like three, I think. So just your players not showing up. And, uh, yeah, can't it's make like they forget the playoffs. Yeah, it's I know. Like they forget what's on the line here. There is no tomorrow. Al keeps on the read option again. Now third and two for Western Michigan. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to the ground game. Yeah, I mean, even with the uh, – between the former and now current coaching staff, that has been something they've always done is had how run. Um, and it's been successful for the most part, so no reason to go away from it until uh, Marshall proves they can stop it. Yeah, and watching that play again, you know, you have receivers blocking downfield. You've got linemen sticking with their men. I mean, um, I would continue to keep doing this, honestly, if I'm Coach Pete. Got trips to the boundary. They're going to fake it. And how under pressure the running back just did not pick up the blitzing linebacker, came straight through a gap, hit Powell as he, hit Hal as he threw. Ball falls incomplete now, fourth and two situation for Western Michigan. And it looks like they're debating on what to do right here, whether they're going to use their first fourth down attempt. I mean, or not. like I said, they don't have anything left to lose. I could definitely see them try to go for it, but I think they are going to kick it away. Which I think is smart. I, you know, they need to really feel out the other team, kind of get some tendencies and take that into the next drive. What did Trigger say in the chat? I can't read it. It's Versa what? He said it's Versa around. Oh, okay. He is. Yeah. We're... For some reason, I can't get this to show up fully on my OBS. Anyway, Armstrong around the right side. Going to pick up a long, I don't know, something about this. The yardage just doesn't add up with what we see on the screen. It's bugged me all year. You know, and, and Armstrong, who, um, you know, what we've been hearing rumor-wise has been a heavy favorite in this year's Heisman vote, actually has kind of slowed down towards the end of the year and not performed that well. Rodford going to be dropped on the read option, losing four yards. A great play there by Clint Johansson. Great blocking on the outside. Just had one man to beat, couldn't do it. And now you got third and ten situation for the Thundering Herd. Sticking with the pistol formation, they've ran it all year. Ronford making checks at the line. Throws boundary side oh. out of bounds incomplete. That's just a product of not, you know. Marshall hasn't been able to do anything. Are they going for Are it? they going for this? 
Do they not realize it's fourth down? Oh, my. And Western Michigan's in pump formation. They, they, bro, they may be just running the same play. Well, it's got Western Michigan's in punts. Surely. They're not going to take a delayed game, right? Or do, are they? You know, and maybe Sneak's playing the game that they've been playing all year, run the clock down, chew it, four-wheel drive, okay. ball on I, the ground. I was curious, that would have made no sense. Um, yeah, going back to the Rainford can just has, it's not warm right now. And um, really, they can't even run with him right now. Western Michigan doing a good job containing the edges. So, yeah, there's just nothing's going for Marshall right now. They are going to punt this one away. Western Michigan going to field it at not even midfield. They're going to field it in their plus territory and going to be brought down at the 38 yard line. Mitch Stroud with a nine yard return, and Western Michigan is about, I don't know, 10 yards from field goal range. Um, I don't, I honestly don't know anymore about field goal range. Um, <laughs> because I, I don't, I, see, he's at the 39. I, I think this is too far. I think it's just a tad bit too far from this area. I mean, if they get a couple of yards, it's at the 35. I think they can make it, but. Hunter Redmond picking up three yards on the carry. That's a guy who, and I think he's had, along with Tyler Wentzel, who we haven't called his name tonight, Marshall's uh, second string running back. Redmond's been a pretty good running back all season, 73 attempts, 318 yards. That's over four yards per carry. Um, only has two touchdowns, but Western Michigan really hasn't scored that much all season. Did not score against Central Michigan in the last game of the season. Was held to 13 or less four five times. So, oh. oh, wow. Big play by Chester Thomas. Picking up 14 yards on the reception. That would be his first tonight. Yeah, getting Parker Howe warm is a very key point for Western Michigan. They can't rely on him running all the time. And if I mean, really haven't seen it a lot this season, but a couple of games I have. They've been competitive, and I think they've won a couple games as well with that. So that's a number one point for Western Michigan going to this game. We got a five wide bunch. Look, Howell's going to keep it on the read on, sorry, the draw, and going to pick up three yards. Now, second and seven for Western Michigan. Wow. Great run up the middle. And Hunter Merriman really showing why he is a Heisman nominee in this year's RFCL season one. Yeah, I mean, as much as Western Michigan has struggled, he, he's he been pretty dominant in his performances. It's just really just been, been underutilized. To, yeah, I would agree. They just haven't been able to put the performances together to, you know, maybe make his stats pop out a little bit more. Right. And EJ Robertson picks up zero. Might be time for one of those Western Michigan read options. Yeah. Oh, look at this line. <sighs> and they still elected to run. I, I just don't think they're able to run the ball here. They're going to have to throw no. it. And, uh, Marshall appears to have... I don't know, eight guys yeah. on the line. <laughs> a huge third down coming up for Western Michigan. What do you do in this situation? I mean, running the ball has been decent, but you're in the red zone. You're inside the – are they inside the five yet or just inside the Yeah, five? they are they're inside the five. Yeah, so you've got limited space to work with here to throw it. But all you need is five yards. It's not like you I have mean, to I, give it you know, 12 I, here. 
I'm running some kind of mesh right here. Yeah, I, mean, I would I, too. I agree, Blake. They're in goal line defense. All but one drops in coverage. Hal throws it deep, deflected oh, by Trey Wood. Is that a lot safety? I think so. <laughs> Washington, Michigan. Pretty much extra point is up and good this time. It's good for three, though. And Western Michigan will take a three to zero lead. Um, you know, honestly, probably wasn't what wasn't uh, what uh, Western Michigan wanted. But I mean, they've got points, and they were they sure they can move the ball a little bit. So I think they're going to be happy with that drive. Yeah, any drive that ends in points is going to be hard to be upset about. Look at Coastal Carolina. That was our – obviously, we wanted touchdowns, but as long as we ended with points, we knew we were going to be okay, and we, it worked out in the end. So, maybe Western Michigan taking that same approach here. Zach Armstrong. Oh, man. Just running over linebackers at this point, picking up four yards. Who Who is 51? Is that – that's not Yeti, is it? I think it is. I think it has to be him. And, fellas, I don't believe my eyes. Marshall is coming out in a flex bone. I haven't seen them use this all year. Have y'all? Nope, but desperate times equal desperate measures. Hey, there's some stuff you just have to save for the playoffs, you know? Yeah, that's, that's also true. And it doesn't oh. seem to work. <laughs> and that was open. I mean, he threw yeah, it between was. two guys there. So third and six coming up for Marshall. Ryan for back to pass. Oh, oh. The, he had two guys open. He that dude looks like he was streaking down the sideline. Oh, man. Did Marshall take Kepler, put a Marshall jersey on him, and stick him out there as well? <laughs> hey, here's the thing. Marshall has, like, for whatever reason, really struggled the last uh, – Last, well, I guess they played two games last week. Last two games, I should say. They just have not been able to move the ball effectively. Um, and their defense can only do so much. You know, that's that's the thing, like I was saying early. Um, Marshall was able to pass the ball successfully early on in the season because Armstrong was literally getting – he was just instantly doing eight-yard runs, break two tackles, almost every other – carry so they were able to usually surprise the team by throwing the ball but um as i said earlier armstrong has not been the same in the second half of the season hunter raymond has a one yard rush currently 18 total on the game yeah western michigan already in plus territory again started there on the last drive finished with three points doesn't uh does WMU get balls to start second half too? Yes. So this is this is a very important drive for both teams. Very nice screenplay. Wow. You don't, Man, you don't see a lot of those in the league. They don't really tend to work. But uh, I wonder it did. Uh, so good call by uh, Pete there. And you know, at this point, with a few more completions, about how well I was about to say. He could start throwing a lot more, but Howell's only two for five right now. Now he's going to take off and run and pick up five yards. So now a very manageable second down for WMU coming up. And you know, Howell's a guy who, under the right staff, I think this year could have been a Heisman nominee um, and really competed for that. But, uh, you know, with a little bit of coaching change mid-year and, and all that, maybe next year we'll see uh, see how as a front runner. Yeah, it's unfortunate for him that he was unable to, you know, endure a full – basically a full season. I mean, he kind of just had to work with whoever was in the booth that night kind of deal. Yeah. You know, guys, it kind of reminds me of my situation back in high school. In two years, I had three head coaches. Um, 
and I can tell you it's not fun going through three scheme changes in two years. Yeah, that's uh, that sounds miserable, buddy. I feel like every time in Western Michigan has the ball, um, we have it's a second down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is everything good? They're about to get the ball again. His controller messed up. So I'm gonna tell Sneak to pause it. He's not and decline. Yeah. Oh, okay. he accepted it. All right. All right, I'm letting you off. <laughs> well, he did it like in 0.2 seconds, so. I, I was about to say, still, I think it's still messed up. Tell him to pause it. It's still there. I mean, it's got to be on his end, right? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, Gage, go into the RPCS3 thing and see if like, you can refresh it or something. I'm sc honestly scared that's going to crash if we do. Oh. So, I'm nice. Monarch said that's been happening. But... Tell, go tell Sneak to unpause it and see if... And then if he just takes a delay game to decline it. Because it's plugged in, but there's no way for him to test and see if it's working without being in the... Yeah. Okay. I don't. Hey, Pete. Pete. Uh, hello. Hey, it's going to be not... something on his end, because, I mean, he's connected to me. Yeah, it is. He's, uh, I don't know. He said make, it. Make sure they... he's tabbed in the Parsec. I think he is. I don't. If he don't, if he's not clicked on Parsec, it's not going to work. He's got to be clicked on. Even if it disconnects, like it's still going to auto connect to the same controller he had before. So yeah, yeah. Sneak, you can unpause it and then just let him play. Mess I with think Versa's it. got. I think Versa's got the controller. Yeah, but yeah. Versa has the controller. Gamepad is not the problem here, boys. If this crashes, I'm beating somebody's ass. See, he's still connected. Do I click refresh? That's just refresh the controller thing. I just don't think he's tapped in. I don't either. Hold on. Go. Hey, long hey, story. You gotta make sure uh, you click on the screen. Go to go to my. I mean, go to player two and see if it. Yeah, so it yeah just, it's not reading it for some reason. Then, uh, are you clicked uh, onto the screen? It. Yeah. Do what? No, yeah, I'm clicked onto the screen. Okay, unplug yeah. your controller. Plug it back in. All right.
All right. Plugged it back in. I'm moving shit. I'm, I made sure I'm clicked on the... Try, you may Why did try you do that? Disconnect and reconnect again. Okay. All right. Let's go to... It was our first time in Kyoto. We stayed in a room in Takashi's home. We wanted to go to a nice sushi restaurant. Takashi was like, I can teach you. That's where the sushi party started. <laughs> what? What the? All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Well, Parsec's kind of been, uh, I guess what you call it. Do what? You kind of cut out a little bit. Parsec's been kind of doo-doo lately. Yeah, it has. Nice little run by bread been picking up six yards. Make one of you boys straight for me, please. Thank there you, sir. Blake's got it. Or Joe's got it. All right, third and nine. You know, let's keep in mind they do have the delay game that wasn't their fault. That is correct, and I do get the ball to start second like half, as Jerry points. And it won't doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you know, could we could we say that's a little karma? <laughs> I would think so. You know, I heard a little snippet from from uh, Coach Sneak saying, you know, if it was someone else, that they wouldn't care. But you know, we care about our coaches in this league, guys. Love you, Sneak. First and 10 from about the 12 yard line. I'm going to pick up five yards. Hunter Redman is another second down. I'm telling you, they haven't picked up a first down on first down yet. It's, we've hit second down every time. <laughs> That's, they're just, uh, you know, they're just gradually moving down the field, you know, not taking yeah, too working. many yards at a time. Is this still a goal line look for Marshall? I believe it is. I, Gage, you've been requested to move your mouse off the screen. <laughs> Ooh. Chester Thomas picking up five yards, but just inches short of the first down. I would not be surprised at all if we see a run here. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. They haven't really. I don't think they picked up any yard. Oh, now Marshall switched out. Now they can, but they don't. He hasn't been wide open. Wow. Oh, oh man. That's, man. Slam that's, coming. A, that's a big stop for Marshall. Oh, they're uh, going for it. Wow. wow. I thought they were. I thought they were. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Fault you know, if if they only come out with three, then Marshall avoids going down ten. Yeah. Giving Western Michigan back the ball in the second half, which well, they have two minutes left. That's plenty of time for a Marshall touchdown. I feel like that was a coaching mistake there right there. They didn't let the clock run down. And they gave Marshall a minute and 50 seconds with three timeouts. 
You know, and I just think that's part of being a new coach. They're, they're just trying to score, not really thinking about the implications of running the, the clock down. They're just trying to get the points as fast as possible. Yeah, and that's why it's good to know where you want to go, what you want to do in those situations, because you can turn on chew clock, let that clock chew, Whoa. and not have to worry about making Ooh. a thousand adjustments when you get to the line of scrimmage. But Mark Walker, I think it's the first time we've called his name all season, potentially. I, I've never heard that yeah. name for Mark <laughs> that's, a, that's a great start to this drive, as they're standing in the hurry up. Oh. I think he was going to break that first tackle, but luckily he there was. was a second defender there. Armstrong brought down. I don't even, does he even have like 15 yards tonight? I don't know. I think we'll see here in a second. 11 on six carries. Definitely uncharacteristic for Armstrong. Although it if is. they were to pass and put him on a wheel, he might have scored. There was nobody I've, over there to guard him. I've noticed that wheel routes from running backs are, if you do it like correctly, impossible to stop. There, I've got a yes, idea I, of what I think stops them, but – it's so inconsistent that I don't know if it does or not. So, and I'm going to tell y'all, sending the house definitely does. Does work or does not? It does. Oh, okay. But that comes with major, yeah, um, yeah. implications. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're just asking for someone to right. Wow. Well, we're, yeah. Hey, we're seeing Armstrong start to do his thing now. Maybe we can see a little bit more of this um, in the second half, and it might be a different story for Marshall offensively. Nicotine's chat. <laughs> a nice ball there by Reinford. To be a three-star quarterback, Reinford this season has played probably better than some five-stars. Yeah. I will say – Well, I would he's argue that he's been – he's played, I played, he's played better than the quarterback he's facing right now. Yeah, I, I could agree with that. I don't think that's all entirely Parker's fault. But no, no, it's not. I agree. 30 seconds left. When do they you trips to the boundary? Oh no. Here's the problem that now they're they're not in field I don't think they're in field goal range. Not really. I wouldn't count on it. I mean what do you do? I mean, do you waste a fourth down attempt yeah, if you don't I mean, pick up any yards here? I mean when I think field goal range, I think automatic. And this is not field goal range for them. No, so, I think they're still a good seven yards out. I agree. Which they there's old reliable right there. You know this they've had three or maybe four passes in this drive, um, the center of the field. You know around eight to ten yards. It's just been money. Fifty-one yards is not enough. I don't think so either. Yeah, I mean really, you're already losing. So all you have to do is make it through the third quarter, use yeah. one other fourth down attempt, and you're fine. So. Yeah, I that's would, true. I would maybe look at going for it here, and I think that's what they're going to like to do. Yeah, I, I just have to be really careful here, though, because, you know, you take a sack, well, you're giving Western Michigan enough and pretty these, good field position to go to the field goal. In these short yardage situations, though, this is where they can get a first down with the passes that they've used in this drive. We'll see if they go to that. But walk her over the inside. Oh, they have oh. a wide open. And there's a wow. Oh no! Did they call it a corner blitz? Right Why did Western Michigan was wasting timeout? Oh my goodness! They burned. They burned two timeouts. Marshall called one. And then Western Michigan immediately called another one, and they just called one on a sack, which is well, an automatic stop the clock. Now. You know, a couple shots from Hal downfield with 16 seconds and one timeout. Yeah, you, I mean, you could have you could have had three. That. That's what I'm saying. They could be in great position. It's just coaching errors. And they do get the ball to start the second half. So, honestly, right here, I'm just playing for a field goal. Yeah, a field goal is huge here. Play for a field goal until you can play for a touchdown. That's the way I treat it. Oh, wow. And Don't call oh, it. Oh, oh, that's no. not a good idea. They, that's a they, rookie, rookie mistake. mistake. Uh, rookie mistake. mistake. You right. coach mistake right here. You, you know, not being able to utilize the clock stop on a first down. Burn the very last time out with only 11 Actually, seconds left. Is that an offensive coordinator mistake? Because uh, Pete does not have the controller. That is true. That would be a Lone Star decision. Well, Lone Star is the DC, technically. Okay, so even worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. 
Yeah, that's the third time out when they when the clock was stopped. They called one. Throw it. Now they Parker. have to. Oh, he's oh! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, wow. <laughs> I felt good about that one when it was traveling to there. I'm not gonna lie. He's got one more attempt at that, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Are they going to? Uh, just a little too long there, gents. That's not. Just gonna launch one down the field. What is? Checking are, they the check, are they checking the uh, leg of the kickers? Sure. I mean, he ain't going to kick it from 70. It's at 62. Yeah, that's a long I way. just don't think the AI can do that. They're going to try, though. This could be a mistake. <laughs> Give me a six. six. Yeah. It's not even going to be close. Whoa! Okay, it was kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of close. That was, kinda close. Yeah, that was, was like a good close. 58. Mason is punching the air right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. wow. Fellas. Let's go first to uh, to Marshall here. All right, Coach Sneak. Not the first yeah. half you wanted, um, but I think most of their scores came off of good field position, more so than bad defense or anything. What is it going to take to get the offense turned around and going in the second half? Um, I mean, we got we got Didier kind of heated up a little bit towards the end of that that second quarter. Um, but you know, trying to get Armstrong going, it's not going to be possible when we're getting blitzed like no other. Um, so we got to we got to try and find a way to to counter that. Um, but you know, either way, we're 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 starting to get the other other portion of the offense going so that we're not totally just screwed. Um, so that's that's basically the game plan. Blake, Kelly? Uh, Zeke, uh, you know, a very great half for me. You know, only allowing six points um, in the first half. Uh, do, do you see yourself continuing to do the same thing in the second half? I think we can, I think we can do it. It's all going to come up to just how I perform on the field. And we're just going to play how we do, how we have been this half, and go from there. Caleb? First, uh, uh, Zach Armstrong hasn't had, you know, one of his best games. Do you find that concerning, or do you find that you're trying to find something else to beat Western Michigan at night? Um, I think I'm going to have to – we're going to change some things up. Uh, it seems like they're running a very heavy, like, DB blitz or safety blitzes, so – um, yeah, probably end up having to change things up, make them play more, uh, you know, respect more of the passing, and then maybe get get things opened up for Armstrong again. All right. Well, best of luck to you guys in the second half. It's do or die time now. Thanks, Gage. All right, Coach P, Coach Lone Star. I've I've got to start off with just the the coaching woes. Uh, what that was like a few wasted timeouts. Uh, I think yeah, almost all three wasted timeouts. What was the thought process on those? I'll let Lone Star go through this. <laughs> <laughs> the first, the first one, Pete was screaming at me, saying timeout, 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 and then the other two were my fault. Uh, I, I was just getting a little trigger happy, hit them a little too early. Uh, we definitely, we definitely could have saved those, but I, I just got a little, a uh, little antsy there. Yeah, the first one they were trying to run all the clock out so they could kick a field goal. And whenever you call a timeout there, they're going to rethink it. And obviously they did. And we, we got a turnover. But, I do, uh, I do but, have to ask then, this question. Yes. Marshall called a timeout before that. They already stopped the clock. So did you yeah, not I see that? Did. I knew, okay. I knew I, they did. I, I just didn't know who, like if Pete saw that. I knew they did. I, I, I did I, not I see that, crazy. obviously. Okay. Well, okay. Well, that would be great. I have a question for you now. Your offense has done pretty solid tonight. Your only problem mm -hmm. is they're struggling in the red zone, mainly in the goal yeah. line situations. Yeah. What are you going to look for in the second half to try to finally get in the end zone of the situations? Well, I mean, really what Zeke is doing, he's, he, he, he flames DB for doing all this stuff, but he's literally running DB's defense in the goal line. So, uh, you know, from watching film, and, and I've discovered it almost worked earlier. Uh, whenever he does that, we'll, just, we'll audible to a, a quick pass. We'll audible to a quick pass and, and get it out of Parker's hands because uh, it worked a couple of times, but it just we were too far from the end zone. But I, I think uh, if we can, I think if we can keep the ball moving, we're gonna we're gonna end up putting a lot more points on the board. Pete, I got one question. Um, 
your kicker was very close on a 62 yard attempt. Uh, yeah. Does that change things going into the second half? Maybe situational for you? Um, it might. I mean, it. Uh, it's a uh, he. Well, we did put our punter there, and uh, he's hit from sixty three before, and so that that's why we thought we test out sixty two. But I mean, a lot more. Uh, it makes it a lot easier for us on a uh, on a uh, situations where we just need to get points. But uh, we're gonna go for touchdowns. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for touchdowns. Well, thanks, Pete. Uh, I'm gonna take it back to you, Gage. All right, I'll wrap it up. Uh, yeah, all right, Pete and uh, let's start. We'll see you guys at the end of the game. And good luck to you too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Western all right. Michigan is next. Uh, hi, yeah. Gage. Welcome back. Western Michigan going to get the uh, bald start second half. Sorry, I had to take a quick bathroom break there. It's been a long, it's been a long right. first half. Okay. So I don't know if you heard. Gage, but uh, they said that their kicker at practice or whatever has made a kick from 63 yards. I'll believe it when I see it. We, we got some, <laughs> guys, we got to address something. We got some controversy in the chat. Uh, um, one of App State's coaches, you know, was was looking forward to seeing the cam of Coach Pete to verify identity in hopes that he was not a, a coach, you know, that has been recently removed from the league. Do we have any comment on that at the time? Look, he sent me a cam link and then claims that mobile made it more difficult to spot Zeke being on mobile, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I will oh. say the difference in voice um, is a lot. So if it is who you think it is, I, I... – Yeah, if it's – yeah, it's not who you guys think it is. <laughs> Listen, I got a DM today, probably with like a three-page essay begging to get back in the league. <laughs> and I haven't resp- replied yet. So well, I'll just come out and fly out and say it. I know double breaks in here. You were banned from the RFL for at minimum a year. And messaging us every day begging to be back in is not going to make it any better. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And there you have it from the head man himself. That's how it gives it off up the middle to – Redmond, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hey, behind boys. I need a little think, bit of a. I think for the first time, uh, West Michigan got a first down on a first down. I think you are correct. You are correct. Hey, boys, can y'all get me up to speed? I, I got you. I got you. I got you, Blake. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> I was commentating on the stream. That's like 15 seconds behind. So oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd drop my glasses there for a second. Oh yeah. Hey, Blake, you- we need an. We need an actual video of you dropping your glasses so we can play that on the well, screen. Well, they're taped to my head, so that really can't happen. <laughs> okay. How are going to keep it on the read option this time? And I don't think Marshall has on the adjustments for for how to keep it. I know the other night when Coastal was playing App State, App State had it to where the quarterback would give it every time, yeah. and it completely screwed us up. So um looks like the opposite approach here for Marshall tonight. That's Hal's like fourth or fifth carry on the read options. Now it looks like we've got a cover three or a man free look. And now we're going to off coverage on third and one. And oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah, that was too close for comfort, but Chester Thomas hung on to it. Picks up 10 yards in the first down. Average view duration 13 and a half minutes. I'd say that's pretty good, boys. I say that and now how hands it off this time. Redmond gonna pick up seven yards, averaging six point two yards per carry. Boys, there's a lot of good running backs in this league. Yeah, and you know, as you're saying that, Western Michigan is, you know, establishing a very solid run game going into the second half. Um by both Hal and Redmond. And now another oh, short pass over RPO. the middle. Most of their Western Michigan's plays here, I don't think they've had to gain over like 11 yards. So it's not like they're just taking, um, you know, deep shots or anything like that. Like they're truly just dinking and dunking down the field here. Nice little run again by Redmond up the middle, picking up eight yards. I'm not going to lie, boys. 
Dunder looks very good tonight. I'm saving all my cash and then I'm betting on the national championship. Unless I'm in it. Then now I'm changing the rule and letting us bet <laughs> on whoever's playing. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Can we get a sports center top ten in this? Oh my gosh. That's play of the year. Play. That may be yeah, play 100%, of the year. 100%. I'm looking to see Coach Sneak's reaction on the replay. Oh, I am too. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. We need a clip. Somebody go find a way to get that. It'll be on the YouTube, Gage. It saves forever. That's the best part of being on YouTube now. Doesn't yeah, but I don't, don't uh, YouTube clips work differently than Twitch? I do think they do. God, what a catch. Wow, and we have a two point. Oh, yeah, I mean, no. I, I understand why they're going for that. Yeah, I'd probably go um, for it as well. Uh, Trigger, can you check your DMs, please? That's where we need that replay button. I may, yep. I'm, I'm going to order a stream deck after this. We need the, <laughs> we need the trigger special. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, uh, help fund the RFL stream deck, uh, stream production station. Uh, go buy a five star for season three. <laughs> <laughs> now I do think we got the Twitch payout today, so I can use that and oh really? Buy one. Yeah, it was like sixty bucks. So thank you guys for subscribing. So we're going to use yes, that, and yes. we're going to buy upgrades to the stream, and I'll take pictures yep. to prove it. So thank you guys. Right for back to pass. Oh. Radford has been really on or really off all night. And he's only yeah, had five incompletions. Yeah, and those throws over the middle, though, have been pretty money for him all night. Um, that's the first one over the middle I think I've seen just completely miss. He had that one earlier that threw right between two receivers. So I don't even know if that was fully his fault. There were two guys in the area. He had another ball on third oh, down. Oh, no. And this is something um, – you know, I was saying if Marshall goes away from the run game, it's, you know, I don't think going to be pretty for them. Uh, not utilizing Armstrong, especially when he was starting to warm up. All right. Yeah, I guess it's time for me to announce this. We have breaking news. Uh, Coach Wad will not be attending FAUC me tonight. Oh, no. Dang. Uh, trigger, no, I'm using OBS, just regular OBS. Oh, wow. Mark Walker with a 13-yard reception over the middle. Gains Marshall a first down. A play they desperately needed in this drive. You know, with a three-man front, guys, I expect an Armstrong run. No, I'm using uh, regular OBS trigger. And they still elect to go to the pass. Oh, oh wow. Oh, that no. should have been picked and going the other way. Yeah, that FAU is looking really good right now. Sorry, Gerald, but <laughs> the way yeah, I, I, the way, I don't blame you, bro. The way because, these underdogs are playing this week. Because I'll tell you right now, there's a chance that uh, Lion Core will be by himself. Yeah, it's a uh, portion of tonight. I just on when heard the Vegas show up. move the line on the <laughs> CMU FAU game um, to a money line pick. This is no longer a <laughs> CMU favorite. <laughs> Oh boy, this should be fun. <laughs> Third and that laugh effort. screamed, I'm in danger. <laughs> no, you're not wrong, Blake. You're not wrong. And Marshall's now like them to go for it. And they do, I mean, you've got two oh, down to Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Vice is questionable. Oh, my God. Wow. Two my of God. the top favorites for coordinator of the year, both considered being out in round one of the playoffs. This is wild. What's also while he's going for it on fourth and six. Play action ball. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Yeah. This I'm gonna be honest. This is the game right here, I think, for Marshall. They give up a touchdown and go down three scores. Call me crazy, but did we even see a single run? No. I I maybe on his so. first down. Maybe yeah, first we down. did. We did. It was Wildcat. Okay. Hey, Orphis oh, no. and Trigger, I think y'all both said y'all got the uh, clip of that. Can y'all send it to me, please? 
or put it in Discord somewhere. Yep, there it is. Thank you, Orpheus. What a oh, ball. wow! And what Hal, Hal is starting to get hot. Yeah, he is. I'm having flashbacks of Jordan Grant against USM. <laughs> sneak has uh, sneak made a good point earlier in the game. We said that Renford plays better than some five stars. Are we sure that still stands? <laughs> <laughs> Now back to pass off the back foot. What in the world? He had a man open in the end zone. This is a good call by Zeke there. Thank you, Trigger. Yeah, I, don't, I think unless it's that uh, Weasley jump pass, about every time a um, quarterback throws off one foot, it's incomplete. So might as well just chalk it as soon as that ball leaves the hand. There's the oh, there the it is. Breaks a tackle, brought down at the 12-yard line, 17-yard reception, the longest play of the game for Western Michigan. Blake, reread that thing you just said. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Did not mean it that way. Oh, man. <laughs> Trips to the boundary. It's actually quads here with Robertson. Redmond catching a breather. How going to hand it off. And a great oh, wow. play there by the Marshall defense. And Marshall, despite being down 12 late third quarter, you're not dead yet. No, you're not. You could even hold them to a field goal, and it's still a two-possession game with a whole nine minutes to play. Correct. So, Which, is, I mean, that, that's how big that stop on uh... – the two point conversion last time was, you know, absolutely. Like, I mean, no hindsight, but Western Michigan, I guess there still would be a two score game. We got 16. So, yeah. That middle looks really good right now. <laughs> yeah. A slant would be nice. Oh, we see the or angle out the halfback. Oh, oh, slant. Oh, wow. Now, All right. Here, Thomas, we have called his name a lot yes. tonight. Here's where West Michigan has struggled. They're the short yardage situations, especially in goal line. I know they're not technically in goal line yet, but they just have not been able to move the ball here. I'd almost bet this is a read option. I don't think it's going to work. But I would agree. I just think with how it's got to be a pass oh, here. Wow. Yep. He drops back. Oh, that was into the blue. All right. I could I could see Pete trying to gamble here, because either way it's still a oh yeah two score lead, but yeah I I think it's safe to take a field goal. Fake field goal, fake field goal. <laughs> yeah, do it. We need one successful, please. Make it up for game. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, no. He has a man. What are we doing? Oh. Oh. No. Oh, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Again. Oh what? my god. Guys, please clip this. Oh my. Yeah, clip that again. And then, <laughs> there goes Sneak Scam. It's gone. Oh my. Zeke. I think Zeke has left the building. Sneak Scam is gone. Oh my god. What a oh. game. No way. Wow. Sneak, wow. bro. <laughs> Sneak. I'm calling right now. It's over. Marshall's not coming back on three scores down. Wow. And that means for the first time in RFC history, an interim head coach is going to win. Wow. They're 0 for, they're 0 for 2. Vice lost. Jet lost. I think. Was that it? I, maybe uh, one more. Didn't Versa call the first game? I don't count that. Okay. Because Sneak was well, I guess that's true. First that did win. Two First went two and zero. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, two and oh, two. Oh my lord! Yeah, See, but I mean, a playoff win. Oh, oh 
Oh, 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 I thought that was pig. I thought for sure that was pig. <laughs> that's a pig. That's a pig. I, I can see a controller going through the screen. I feel bad for the people who haven't been able to witness this last five minutes. Oh, men make a good point. Western Michigan does have an interim head coach, don't they? Currently. Uh, ten, uh no. Yeah. Well, no. for tonight, yes, but. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Nismo is. Yeah, Nismo is is the head yeah. coach. He's not there tonight. I mean, man, if Marshall got stopped here. Wow. Oh, like, oh, oh my. I, oh my! Wait a minute. Fourth and okay. Cage, did they break fourth down? Did they let it go to the Marshall. Is not their second one, third one. They're down. Said They're that. losing. Doesn't matter. But that's what that implies in the fourth, right? I think. Oh uh, well. It's just, I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna say anything, but right. like, because yeah, you kind of have to. Y'all check the uh, stream real quick, like the your actual stream. Wait, oh, you mean like... Like, pull it up on YouTube and look at it. Yeah, it said 0 for 2. No, I'm saying the before the... when I'm... Go look at the stream on YouTube right now. That's what I'm telling okay. you and Blake. Oh, yeah. Talk about that streak? No. <laughs> I don't know what you're telling me to go I look don't... at. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The disrespect... <laughs> Wow. Western Michigan forcing a three and out almost. Now up 19 well, I mean, in the fourth quarter. Wow. I did not expect this game to go that way. I did not either. I, would, I thought all these games were really close, but a potential blowout and maybe even a shutout. Oh. <laughs> he said that fake field goal was complete accident. That's cap. I don't believe that, Pete. <laughs> He said what? He said that fake field goal was a complete accident. Oh boy. When he actually pressed Y. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's, he's saying sorry to sneak like it's a bad thing that he scored. I would have gone for it normally, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I think we jinxed even... Ron for Gus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's like... Well, is he trying to throw to that guy? And I think he was just pointing out that that guy was open. Coach Sneak scam is still uh, blank. Yeah. Hey, you, you should put you should put that thing up, I think Sneak scam that you put up on the top right. If we took it away. Okay, what happened to Trev's message? Did somebody see that? Yeah, I don't know. That Teddy took it away. Yeah, it said. What did it say? He deleted it. His message retracted. So. Oh, okay. It said, Marshall, what happened? Oh. oh. Ron for throwing. Oh, throw. as a man. Oh, no. 11 for 25 is just not going to get it done in the playoffs. No, it's not. Come on, over. What was the over? 30? I'll pull it up real quick. It is 34 and a half. 34 and a half. I think your game is 30 then. Yeah, it is. In which I do have the over in the next game. Under are you, sh are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> I'm not with you at the helm. I made, I made the bet with the consideration that coordinators would be there. <laughs> yeah. That's why when you bet on, you know, Alabama minus 4,000 and then you bet yeah. or find out Bryce Young isn't playing and – yeah. <laughs> Just all goes downhill from there. Wow. You know, they're kicking a field goal to break the shutouts. <laughs> oh, the oh, I thought you could get it. That was a miss, boys. I think it hit off the right. <laughs> it, it, oh, it, my gosh. It did. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, oh. I, call me crazy, but. The game's still in touch. All, there's, all there has to be is a turnover. Oh, okay. Not even close. Now, that's not going to do it right there. CMU Weasley is not related to his trigger. 
Vice is no longer questionable, according to Orpheus. Great. So I do have to deal with it. I was hoping he wouldn't be a problem. Hey, are y'all, do we still need to go at 8.30 or y'all be able to go after this? Um, I know uh, we started this one early, but. Trigger said that he can't go to 8.30. Okay, that's fine. So he can do earlier? No, he can't. No, he can't. So he's got to do 8.30? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I just, I don't know if the onside was um, the right call yet because, you know, yeah. you get a stop and a score, it's a one-possession game. Sneak said they have one conservative catch. Can we confirm that? Oh, they, 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 oh, they do. do. They do. Pause it, Sneak. All um, right, now I got to go see how long they had that on yeah, for. Yeah, that's a problem. Let me check the beginning of the game. Yeah, um, we gotta figure out when they put that on. Hold on, I'm at the very beginning of the game. I'm at the coin toss. And put it on. Why did he unpause it? Sneak, what are you doing? Why, why did he unpause? I don't know. I'm checking. Getting the rosters ready. Oh, he said they oh, just, he said oh, they just okay. put it on. Okay, thank God. I was hoping we didn't have to do anything about that. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. They, they just cut it off for sure. I don't know how long uh, it's on though. Yeah. Probably sneak. That. No. Sneak said they just put it on. That's why he paused. Like they, right at that moment, they said. They just put it on. So like, it's not like they've had it on. Oh, game. okay, okay. I got you, I got you. So they couldn't take it off because he'd already... Yeah, okay, I think they... I think what they're thinking in their heads, I know they're new, but they're thinking conservative everything, trying to chew the clock out because, you know, that's what it means on the on the clock. Whatnot. Oh, I just... Okay, I was like, they went for that and it actually worked, but... I think that basically does it. If we... If that... Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, <laughs> If they had played that whole game with it... On, Dude, we would have to redo the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> this game would just not be back. I'd it. probably tell them to just load up and play it all. <laughs> no, we're going to play it this weekend. But... <laughs> I was about to say, this is Marshall has to start using timeouts here. Yeah, I mean, what's your mission in the field goal range? Which would put it back to 19, right? So, Gage, could, uh, could Western Mission go for that? Have they used two yet? The fake doesn't count as a four. Yeah, the fake right? doesn't count. So that would have been their second one. Yeah, okay. So they no longer have any more fourth down attempts. Oh, wow. Did they run? That was a run commit, right? Yeah, it had to be. Yeah. had to be. They did two and then the fake field goal. And the fake field goal doesn't, or the fake field goal and fake punts do not count. So. Guys, how has played a great game? Yep. He has. Probably his best game of the season. I have to agree. <clears throat> On the flip side, I think this is Zach Armstrong's worst performance of the season. Right. And Nick, Nick team, we did. They. It was at that moment where Sneak said something that they had just put it on. Zeke. Zeke Take field goals don't count against fourth down attempts. Seems we have the excuse bus starting to come out now. Wow, just a complete whiff there, about 24.
Yeah, Trigger has a point. Hal did play really well against App State when they oh, almost yeah. came back and won. But I would I mean it's pretty close to this performance. Oh. He's in. Chester Thomas, <laughs> six yard touchdown. Western Michigan is just pouring it on at this point. Oh, boys. The, the over is hitting kind of close. <laughs> Tom I'm not liking sweating, this. Boys. I'm not liking this. Uh, somebody go back and clip that message or, like, screenshot the one where they said, uh, under betters rejoice. I think Nicotine said it. Oh, boy. It'd be, it'd be really funny if it's, like, a, you know, a pick six or yeah. something. That really Trevor said, now this is his best game. I have to agree. Chester Thomas has had one heck of a game as well. Yeah. And Ronfort, Ronfort has not, to say the least. No, he hasn't. I think got Parker Howell's dad in the chat saying, what a game by the kid. You know, props to that guy for raising oh. such a great athlete. <laughs> 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 that throw was bad. <laughs> it sounds like Nicotine will be rooting for Coastal Carolina next week. Oh, if they ruin the under. Okay. I thought he was saying for them stat padding anyway. <laughs> Nick, Nick, oh, with you, my brother. gosh. Wow. <laughs> but with <laughs> these the incomplete deal. passes um, and leaving this this uh, time on the clock, if Western Michigan does decide to try and score, they got enough time. Oh, yeah, 100%. Back to pass. I don't think he's had a completion. There we go. I was about to say, oh, he, he's been a there. long time without a completion. Yep. Now you got fourth and two. Well, I would say this is a disappointing end to, you know, what we thought was going to be a potential oh, championship. <laughs> this is a championship team at the start of the season, you know, going 2-0 and without their head coach. And then just I think they would finish 2-4 and four sit. Two and four cents. Two and five, technically. Guys, guys. Yeah. Western Michigan is on the opponent's side of the field. They need a touchdown uh, to break the over. They yeah. need a touchdown to break the that over. So it's what it's what they want to do. <laughs> if you're listening. Please. Do it. <laughs> don't. <laughs> and Howell is warm. He's gonna be throwing dots. Oh my gosh, Redmond's just gonna take it. I mean if they run the ball in the end zone, there's nothing they can do. That's true. Yeah. All right, right. We got Mace in the chat saying, "Please don't stat bad." Uh, it seems we have a lot of people on this under. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it> makes sense. <laughs> yeah, what a hypocrite. <laughs> Everyone begging in the chat. I mean, oh, our money is on stake, and it's all in Pete's hands. And another run, but it's a first oh, no, down by Redmond. The clock stops. I mean, they're not going to run. Uh, right they right could right. knee it out and win the game at this point. Yes, I don't, they I don't could. assume Marshall would use that last time out. Parr said he took Marshall minus three and a half. I'm pretty sure, too. Marshall minus three. <laughs> yeah. It appears the App State coaches are wanting to kick out Pete if he doesn't decide to. Oh, my gosh. Two broken tackles, three broken tackles, four to take down EJ Robertson for a two yard loss. Broken. Under betters, you should like right. that. So I'm going to take a wild stat that said Mason is also betting on the under. <laughs> I think the whole App State squad is on the under. <laughs> All three. Is that, is that, can that be considered collusion? Can we like investigate that? You know, <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to they're trying to get those packs next Monday. That's what they're playing for. They're 
they are begging. <laughs> I think if they they're found guilty, that all the points go to Central Michigan. That's I was thinking. <laughs> oh, will we see Pete? A field goal doesn't do Take anything. This one out. Yeah, the field goal won't do anything. I think I don't think Pete's gonna try listen, and score listen, here. Listen. <laughs> I thought he was gonna go to field goal formation. If, okay. He, oh, he's he took now. the kneel. He took the kneel. Boys, we're cashing in. Congrats to all my unders betters. He only have to snap it. What is he doing? I mean, theoretically, he didn't have to do that. And if I would not call all that timeout if I'm Marshall, unless you're wanting three more points on your head. Oh, no, listen. If they call timeout with three seconds left, I'm launching one of the ends. That there. is true. <laughs> That's what I would be doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Boom, boys. We cashed it. All right. Let's go hang out with the uh, Western Michigan boys here. All right, Coach P, Coach Lone Star, congrats on a very dominating victory. How are uh, how are we feeling going into uh, next week's game, where you will face the number one seed, Coastal Carolina, in Birmingham? Um, I I really hope uh, if Lone Star plays the way he did today, I I think we'll see a a really good game. Um, we we saw everyone complaining about about us in, in chat. Um. I mean, I don't know what they want us to do. We we, try, we tried running the ball, and they, they started clamping it, so we, we had to throw. You had to do something. Yeah, but no, we, gonna, we, you take over I'm here. Gonna I'm going to try and go to the, the CCU game cool, calm, and collected. You know, it's what you got to do. It's, it's, not, it's not the playoffs. It's just another game, you know. So you got to, you know, stick to my aggressive play call, but stay safe at the same time, you know. It's got to stay cool, calm, and collected. Pete, um... Do you have any word to all your doubters, all your haters? Um, that's you know you've heard all week going into this game, not giving you any credit. Uh, yeah. I hear. I, I have a word to the coach's corner. I I saw that video. I saw Blake was the only one who had us winning. Okay, and I hope all y'all bracket brackets are ruined. I hope everyone everyone has their bracket ruined. I know Blake has, is a believer, and everyone else here is a hater. Listen, well, you guys, you heard it. Caleb? Listen, listen Pete, I, you can ask oh, Agent Blake. Okay, okay. I, I predicted you guys to win. Ger- Gerald's Anyway, Gerald's, okay. Lone Star, <laughs> I know you have the interim tag, and you played a great game tonight. Are you hoping to return to not only your next game, but to the following season with Western Michigan? Yeah. Um, honestly, I feel like I played a good enough game to stay, to, to you know, secure a job. Um but that's 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 in the future, you know. Right now, I'm just focused on the next game, and I'm um, hoping that we can make it farther in the playoffs. Here, I, I have one thing to say. Pars is saying our team is easy to beat. Um, Pars, look at the score. Um, there's a reason. Just we... wait till just wait till Pars sees my defense. Just wait till Pars sees no, my. Pars defense. won't see your defense. He's, he's, he's in Cancun. <laughs> he's in Cancun right now. He'll change. He'll change my mind. He'll change his mind soon. He'll change his mind soon. Trust he, me. He, he's in Cancun right now. He, he's at home on the couch. Damn! I wish I was in Cancun. Whatever. I can take care of that. <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Lone Star. Are you controlling the stats right here? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, can you can press? You oh, yeah. oh, stat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Game stats. Uh. Oh, wait, just, no, I'm not going okay. that. Right. No, I I'm just not wanted, going I just wanted to make sure if it was you or Sneak. But anyway, good luck, boys. We will see you all on Tuesday at 7 o'clock against Coastal Carolina. Yes, sir. All right, Coach Sneak, Coach Zeke, not the ending to your season that you wanted, obviously. But at the end of the day, only one person will walk out of here at Champions. How do you take what you learned this season and start to build for next year? Um, honestly, I have no idea. We're going to have to hit the books and figure out something. Um, that was just piss poor on offense. Defense held their own, but, you know, obviously they can only do so much. Um, but yeah, we got to, we got to figure something out. 
um, especially with the quarterback situation. Obviously, it's going to be good for us having uh, Barry come in next season, and we'll have Vlad. Um, but you know, obviously, it doesn't help us right now. Um, so that's basically where we're going into next season with. Uh, Sneak, did you, did you feel that tonight, you know, with West Michigan kind of limiting Zach Armstrong and that was their game plan going in, do you feel like that overall hurt your game plan, obviously with your quarterback not being warm? Do you feel like there's anything else you could do to put your team in a better situation? Oh, absolutely. I, I do believe that that completely ruined the game plan because, you know, Armstrong's our, our best weapon. Um, and if you, we can't get him involved in the game, sadly – with this game, it wasn't just a next man up situation. Um, so, I mean, we, we had flashes from uh, from our wide receiver, um, Mark Walker. Um, but, you know, you can't put your shoulders on a wide receiver for that matter, especially when quarterback can't throw. Um, but, you know, that, that definitely took a toll, uh, especially with, you know, even, even when we did add the additional – stop that blitz it just it, it wasn't happening sneak look i know it was a bad way to end this season but looking at next season five-star receiver vlad five-star quarterback uh barry mcconkiner i mean you have some very good things to look forward to next season do you think those two will come in to make a difference and could possibly have changed the outcome tonight oh absolutely i, I definitely believe that um because you know obviously by you guys watching up in the booth, you could obviously see that uh, the situation at hand was uh, Ryan Furt not being able to hit a target. Um, and it made us in a, in a pretty sticky predicament, especially when we did start out the drives running the ball, couldn't get anywhere, and put a second and long, third and long situations where we kind of had to throw it, and you know we couldn't, couldn't get anywhere because the ball was off target. Yeah, tough, like I said earlier, a tough, tough game to end on. Uh, Sneak, can you go ahead and scroll through stats really quick so we don't have um, to? I, I need to connect my controller then. Boy. Just reconnect. Well, it should still be connected. My controller was never connected. Oh, uh, Versus was supposed to do it, wasn't he? Yeah, but he had, he had to leave. Okay, I'm making do it then. Let's see here. This crashes? Yeah, I I'm connected. Son of oh. a bitch. I knew it. First of this is Damn it. All right, we'll figure it out. Nonetheless, there wasn't guys. much staff on the Marshall side anyway. So. <laughs> we'll, we'll get it figured out. All right, GG's guys, and we will see y'all uh, Monday for signing day.